Blog 1, 3D of my jobs, dodgy, diverse and dissatisfying, a brief history of the different jobs I did, 3D of my jobs, dazzling, diverse and destined, the takeouts from brief history of the different jobs I did, the jobs I did, none of those define me, I mean I was not in line with that rut, in third world countries, a job is just a need to survive, to pay the bills, to feed the self and the family. I am not in the mood in this article to write about the job environment in government and private institutions or companies in Pakistan, but I must say that it's just a pastime and make some money for the people in governmental jobs. They will never be serious about doing productive work. It's just a paperwork of entering the data to show the world that it is worthwhile. I know my classmate who prepared for the civil superior services exams. He was not interested in doing work in the textile field. After completing bachelor's in textile engineering like me, he passed the Central Superior Services, CSS, exams and secured a government job in the forestry department. He said, on paper, there are thousands of forests, but in reality there are none to be taken care of and quad. Likewise in private companies, they are just interested to continue the same old processes with no value addition of any kind. Anyway, coming to my experiences of doing different kinds of jobs, let's first see where and how long I worked before writing about the pros and cons of those experiences. Trainee engineer job and my first rebellion. Like I had seen my father sitting on a comfortable chair having office stuff to work and pee on for bringing tea etc., I was expecting the same. But it was totally opposite to that expectation when I got my first job in a factory in 2005. I completed the bachelor's degree in textile engineering, which was a newly introduced field in the university. That's why I chose it after passing the entrance test. After completing the degree, luckily, I got the job as trainee engineer with a good salary of 7,000 PKR compared to many others who were getting 5,000 at entrance level but I was not happy with my job due to the behavior of managers towards me to teach me or let me learn and due to lack of my own interest, I also did not take any initiative to self-learn the processes. So it just kept me busy with routine work of checking machines, making reports etc. and eventually I left the job after 8,9 months. Yarn store in charge and release of endorphins plus prison. I was single when I got my first job. I continued that for 10 months and then left the job in my home in Karachi for the village without notifying anyone. I planned secretly and also managed expenses for my uncertain period in the village. From there, I conditioned my father to meet one of three demands to return to home. 1. Government job. 2. Business setup or. 3. Permission to go abroad. But he rejected everything and eventually, I returned after some 7,8 months. Again he tried to engage me in a job and again I ran away after the first day of job in Orient Textile where there was accommodation for employees. So I did not have to pack things secretly to go anywhere. I was living in my village and many days in the far villages of my friends. Then in 2008 they called me to attend an event and that was to engage me for marriage. I was emotionally caught in this tactic to be responsible and do the job. So from then on, even if I was leaving the job, I had tried my best to get another one as soon as possible. Therefore, after my trainee engineer job in Naqshbandi Industries, my second long job was in a yarn store in United Towel Exporters from 2010 to 2011. I spent more than a year in this job. I loved this job only because of getting endorphins due to running behind the workers to load trucks the whole day. I was responsible for the issue, receipt and testing of the yarn, wholesale and retail shop. I was my own boss. As I saw that my father had appointed my relative to sit in a shop he opened, I begged him to let me sit there and run the business. So I left the go-down job and started going to shops rented in a newly populated area in Karachi. For more than 1.5 years, it was progressing then going down due to lack of funds. I was responsible here for purchasing managing and selling things on wholesale rate and later retail rate. After two years we had to shut it down and I became jobless again. Scanning job and lethargy. He was the brother of my wife's friend, a lady living in our apartment who called me for a job. The job was to scan the record of PPL, Pakistan Petroleum Limited, from written reports and books to computers. In other words, it is digitalizing the manual record. I did it for three months until the project was completed. Supervisor in socks making and then wet processing factory, waiting to fly abroad. Whenever my job ended or I had left it, I desperately was looking for another job in any field even by standing in line for labor jobs. And after struggling too much, I got a machine worker job in a socks making factory. Later I was given supervisory tasks due to my bachelor's degree. I did that job for almost a year. I was in touch with my friend who was my colleague in my first job. My salary was 7,000 Pakistani rupees and his was 5,000, but he was interested in what he was doing, so he worked hard and learned to make a career in it. When I requested him to get me a job in his factory after leaving my fifth job, he got me supervisor job in that factory. He was manager there and was making 50,000 PKR. It was due to his consistency, interest and hard work which I was lacking due to inclination. 
he suggested the owner appoint me to look at the work done on wet processing and finishing machines. I do not have a lot of work to do there. I was just waiting for the evening to leave that filthy factory. I worked there until I got a visa for Ireland in 2013 for which I was trying for one year. Before that I was admitted to university in China but my father did not permit me to go there. Jobs in Ireland. I took admission in Technology Institute in Waterford, Ireland, which I had to do despite being interested in studying art subjects. The details of my educational background compelled me to progress in the same field. I was not interested in that and changed many educational places. Read about that in my next blog, My Different Educational Places in Apos. I was approached by some guys to leave that college, get admission in a cheaper college and do odd jobs to make money like many other Pakistanis do, whose sole purpose is to get a visa to live there. But I don't know why I continued studying hoping I will get a job after it. I had a very bad time putting my heart and soul or interest into studying and focusing on these subjects. I only loved entrepreneurship, in which I presented a comedy skit for a task to do. For survival and to pay the rent in the first year, I did jobs as a waiter and cook in an Indian restaurant in Dungarvan and Lennox Burger Shop in Cork respectively. I was struggling for many months for a security job. I passed the test for security license and a safe pass necessary to get a security officer job. Later after a year when I was living on a job search visa, I was working in two big companies MCR and Brinks. It was a good job with a good salary. For MCR I was working on construction sites, an office and then at the Dublin airport. And for Brinks did security during football and rugby matches and musical concerts in Dublin stadiums. When my visa expired, I could get a new one but I returned to Pakistan due to the bad health condition of my son Ryan. Then I was an indecisive person which can easily be taken away emotionally and psychologically. Job in pharmaceutical and preparing for Sweden. When I returned from Ireland, again I was desperately looking for a job for survival needs for the family. End up in getting a job in a pharmaceutical company, where after doing some labor jobs, I was sent to the upper floor to handle the company's distributor's claims. I did this job until I got the visa for study in Halmstad, Sweden for which I had taken IELTS, a test for English proficiency again. I was regretting my return from Ireland as heaven to hell, sky to earth and from a beautiful park to garbage hoarding. I contacted a consultant again who helped me get admission in Ireland. He suggested Sweden this time where I can go with my family, but he demanded the fees before starting the application process. Therefore, I did all myself to apply. During this application, I applied for a scholarship in China also but that was rejected due to not having a master's degree. Therefore, it wasted a year. I was admitted in the SEP 2017 session in Sweden but the result of scholarship form China came in November so I went to Sweden in August 2018. After just 3,4 months of classes I started looking for jobs. I was again hopeful to do an internship in any company because of my good work of doing presentations and assignments but after just 3 months when my family came to Sweden, I had to engage in odd jobs to support me and my family and was compelled to leave the studies after second term, even not completed the second semester. And due to visa issues I ended up leaving Sweden with my family. Jobs in Sweden I applied for jobs in restaurants and companies but got the job in delivery services. I started delivering food on bike with Foodora. My second job was with Mr. Butler, who was a contractor for the company Best in which I was delivering electronics and medical packages. I did a weekend job distributing reclam in the initial days at Laholm. Also did newspaper distributing jobs for VTD in Hogsbo, Gothenburg for a week or two as a replacement worker. I did a job for Foodora for more than two years, getting a permanent contract from them. Did more than a year's work for Mr. Butler who deceived me by not providing me the contract and salary he promised. He reduced my job hours and per hour rate for the job after just 3,4 months which is totally against what he promised. In December 2020, I got a reply from Uber for doing a delivery job for them, which I applied two years ago. When leaving Sweden, Foodora expelled me due to my visa. My protest was, why do you provide a permanent contract when I cannot work permanently in Quad? Pros, cons and conclusion. So there are more than 13 jobs I did. All are different from each other. Look at the fields which are totally different from what I studied. I studied textile engineering and management and some of my later jobs are clerical for a medicine company, supervisory for socks making company, scanner, waiter at restaurant, security officer, delivery boy and even I did call center job for a week. One can say jack of all trades but I am interested, engaged and busy in a different mindset than all of these fields I stated. I was fond of reading columns, watching programs on history, politics, social science, literature, philosophy, spirituality, self-help etc. Here are main observations, lessons or takeaways from the jobs I did. Interest, curiosity and motivation matters. From my first job as trainee engineer, though it was a new type of environment to be adjusted, I felt it so boring when I had to do nothing constructive or productive. No one was willing to teach or inform about the process. 
It is a pitiable situation in third world countries like Pakistan that everyone is feared by others' ability. Secondly, there was no intention by the company to motivate its employees. It was only the need to survive which insisted people to work. The only thing that matters is one's own interest and curiosity. Interest triggers the will to do and that was a will which has taken my colleague Tarek from a learner to manager. For me in all the jobs I did, there was nothing attractive that insisted me to stick and persist the work. On the other hand, if only one thing there could be for my circle of interests, I would have progressed in that work or created ways to explore that. Inspiration and goals in life has biggest impact to act. In jobs in all textile factories, Naqshbandi, United Towel and Prime Fabrics, I had no goal to achieve. I was doing the first job just to pass the time. I had no urge to make money. A month I hardly managed to go every day and secured the whole salary of 7,000. Later the behavior of people around me was bad, which catalyzed my feeling to get rid of the place as soon as possible. Since I was married in 2008, after that all the jobs I was struggling for, I did only to support me and my family. Scanning and supervisory in Sox factory were short term but my last job where I felt comfortable was clerical job in pharmaceuticals. The behavior of colleagues and people there was good but their lack of intellect bothered me to leave the place. In addition to this, I was scared due to their mindset about daily conversation where I could not say thank God and apos. Only thing was loving during job that I was reading Eckhart Tolle's book on given computer after office work and can print it to give someone I love. Two important points I must mention here. During all the jobs, my concern was to read books on literature, society, history etc. Reading columns, watching and engaging in such content and movies was my passion. But, I was delaying and delaying the reading of books and programs. I was nurturing my thought of getting rid of the environment in Pakistan which was odd to me. I was thinking differently. I was in favor of humanism rather than being religious or nationalist and was sick of living with people who are confused about their origin, vision and religion. I could not express or was hiding what I was feeling right about believing and doing. What now then? The future intentions. My expectation for living abroad was different which I realized was proved childish later when I observed that there is no such thing that would exist that I would be assessed psychologically and given the training and tasks according to my talents and interests. Also I was shocked to see the same type of Pakistanis going to masjids and not changing their mindset. I did restaurant jobs which I hated but loved the security and delivery jobs which gave me the opportunity to enjoy life, but had no clear direction about life. Just a wish to be a journalist, writer, filmmaker and to travel the world. Later by indulging into self-help books wishes to become a public speaker, coach, actor, dancer produced in my mind. No wish looks realistic still due to not having a visa and permit to work. Currently my wishes are to be a writer, YouTuber, travel the world, attend the events, journalism, try to dance and act etc. I have started blogging, YouTubing and reading books. Let's hope for the rest. Comments, suggestions and engagements will be highly appreciated and requested. Thank you for reading.